former Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi and senior AAP leader Manish Sisodia filed a bail plea in the Rouse Avenue court yesterday. With Sisodia's five-day CBI custody ending today, he will be produced in the court at around 2 p.m. The AAP leader moved the Delhi court after the Supreme Court refused to entertain his bail plea and held that enough legal remedies were available to him. Sisodia had resigned soon after the apex court rejected his bail plea. Now remember, Manish Sisodia was arrested by the CBI on February 26th in connection with the now scrapped Delhi excise policy. The CBI arrest came after nearly eight hours of questioning during which Sisodia's answers were allegedly found dissatisfactory by the CBI. So Manish Sisodia will be produced in the Delhi Rouse Avenue court today at 2 p.m. This comes after Manish Sisodia's bail plea was rejected by the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court said that he has enough legal remedies available to him and Supreme Court won't uh, react on the bail plea because and he can go to some lower court. So then Manish Sisodia uh, moved to the Delhi's Rouse Avenue court where he will be produced today and remember he was in five-day custody of CBI which is ending today and it is likely to see what happens next. Now Sisodia had also resigned soon after the apex court rejected his bail plea and now remember Manish Sisodia was arrested by the CBI on February 26th in connection with the now scrapped Delhi excise policy. My colleague Anshul is joining us to give us more details and updates on this case. Anshul what is likely to happen today in the court? Uh, well, yes, in all likelihood, wh what we have been hearing from the moments with the CBI is that CBI is going to ask for an extend extended custody of Pani Sosodia because remember, according to law, CBI can get a maximum custody of 14 days. And that is what we are expecting, that since only five days have passed, in all likelihood, CBI is going to ask uh, for an extended custody of Pani Sosodia. However, the arguments that will be presented in front of the court, that is going to be very, very interesting because the CBI uh, will have to prove uh, what they have uh, gathered in the last five days, after which they can only ask for an extended custody. Otherwise, uh, the court, uh, if the court might deem it unnecessary for this custody, we can also expect that the court might go ahead and say uh, that uh, the CBI custody is not required, and hence money Sodia can be uh, can be uh, let go of. So yes, the arguments that will be uh, that will be put in front of the court today from the side of the CBI is going to be very very interesting because. The onus is now on the CBI to prove uh, that yes, they have been interrogating Manish Sodia for the last five days, and what what are what are the benefits that they have garnered from interrogating Manish Sodia? Uh, because remember, uh, the kind of arguments that Man Manish Sodia's lawyer gave on uh, on the last hearing is that uh, since he has passed the triple test, the triple test includes that he is not at flight risk, uh, he is not an uh, offender, uh, he is he is not an repetitive offender, and. Uh, he has joined the investigation whenever and wherever the CBI has asked him to do so. Even after that, the CBI, uh, CBI had said that they would uh, like to interrogate him in custodial interrogation. Now, the CBI will have to prove this in front of the court or the CBI will have to give, give this, these arguments in front of the court that what have they achieved in the last five days of in interrogation and if at all that interrogation has gone ahead in some, uh, in some direction or in some manner. So yes, uh, it is uh, the next few hours are going to be very interesting. What we have been told that at 2 p.m. is the time when Manish Sosodia will be presented in front of the CBI court, where the CBI is again going to ask for an uh, extended custody in a, in all likelihood. But yes, the kind of uh, uh, the kind of arguments that CBI is going to pose that is something that is going to be very very interesting for uh, for us. All right, Anshul, please stay with us. I'd like to cross over to Nikhil, who is with us on the story. Nikhil, can you uh, tell us if you have any information about the interrogation that took place in these five days of Manish Sodia's CBI custody? Well, uh, Anshay, uh, this is exactly what the CBI officials and the council from the CBI is going to inform in the court of law when uh, Mr. Sisodia, who is said to be the number one accused in the liquor uh, scam case in the national capital Delhi, when he will be produced in Rouse Avenue Court at about 3 p.m. today. Because when he will be produced, the CBI officials and the lawyers from the CBI, they have to make sure that what uh, the investigation that have been done so far, it should be put forth, uh, you know, before the magistrate as well, before the judge as well. Then 
only the further custody, if need be, will be required by the CBI officials. But currently, actually, we are reporting from outside the Aam Army Party headquarters, where many of the leaders, many of the workers of the Aam Army Party, they have been given a call that they have to gather here in huge number. This is the reason why uh, inside the headquarters, the arrangements have been made. In fact, uh, outside the headquarters, the police deployment in a short while from now will also be seen. You can see in the visuals as well that outside the headquarters, some of the pickets have already been placed up because he will be produced at 3 p.m. Uh, at the Rouse Avenue Court, which is just few meters away from the Aam Army Party and the Bharti Janta Party headquarters. This is the reason why each and every uh, arrangement has to be made in order by the Delhi Police as well. But uh, this is something which we are getting to know from the Aam Army Party sources that no protest has been scheduled so far. But yes, the leaders have been expected to reach inside the party headquarters in a short while from now. In fact, the senior leaders as well. And we might see some of the press conferences as well, which uh, could be addressed by the senior leader and the spokesperson of the Aam Army Party. Meanwhile, he is second minister who is uh, in, in, in this uh, CBI custody. Uh, there are other investigations as well uh, against the leaders of the Aab Army Party. But as far as the interrogation is concerned, actually, we will get to see from the CBI council as to what are the findings so far during the last five days of the investigation. Today is the day when the five-day uh, custody is going to end. This is the reason why he will be produced yet again uh, in the Rao Seveni court at about 3 p.m. And also something uh, which we are learning that a bail plea has also been moved further from the Manish Sisodia side. So there are a couple of uh, developments which we need to see as to how they are going to unfold uh, today, starting from uh, right now. Back to you.